Hello there. Well, after a pretty soggy March across much of the UK, the first couple of days of this week are looking a little bit dry, a little bit calmer, a bit more sunshine to be had, which will be welcome for many of us, I'm sure. And that is certainly the case as we look at things over the last couple of hours this Monday morning, with this area of high pressure centred across Scandinavia, extending across the British Isles, which means lots of fine conditions, lots of sunshine, chilly old start, mind, temperatures down to minus four, minus five in one or two of the coldest spots across parts of England. More cloud out towards the west. These are Atlantic weather fronts, which will be making inroads later in the week. Back to this afternoon, though, and for a good part of England and Wales, southern and eastern Scotland, there'll be plenty of sunshine to be had. A little bit of cloud milling around, but essentially it's largely blue skies for many of us this afternoon. Always a bit more cloud, though, in the far west, so the western part of Northern Ireland getting into the Outer Hebrides. But it should remain dry through daylight hours, at least. And with light winds after that chilly start, Temperatures should recover to something not too far off what we'd expect at this time of year. 11 to 13 just about covers it. And in the sunshine should feel quite nice, but where we've got this onshore breeze across some eastern and southern coasts, it will feel a touch on the chilly side, I think. Now on through this evening, and we'll continue to see fine conditions for many parts of the country with plenty of sunshine to close out the day. Elsewhere, though, we'll see a bit more cloud coming in to the far west of Northern Ireland. And eventually this will be thick enough to bring a few spots of rain to the west of Northern Ireland as well as westernmost parts of Scotland, but fairly light and patchy, not amounted to a great deal. Elsewhere, it stays predominantly dry, predominantly clear. The odd shallow mist or fog patch possibly by the end of the night, but a lot of places will escape that. And like we saw into this morning, temperatures will widely fall away. So in towns and cities, we won't, we'll be close to a little bit below freezing. Out in the countryside, we're probably two or three degrees colder than this in the coldest spots. Not quite so chilly though for the far northwest, given the bit more breeze here, cloud and the odd spot of drizzle. So here will be a bit of a grey start to Tuesday morning with further pulses of mostly light rain and drizzle, slowly edging its way a little bit further east with time. The sunshine across eastern Scotland will turn a bit hazier as we move on through the day. Likewise, across southern parts of Scotland, maybe parts of western Wales, the far west of England as well. We'll come further east, though, for central, eastern, much of southern England. Another day where lots of blue skies will once again dominate. Plenty of sunshine to come through. And after that chilly start, all well, those temperatures once again recovering quite nicely. So back up into the low teens quite widely. But where we've got the onshore breeze once again, it will just be a little bit cooler along some of our coastlines. Now on through Tuesday evening, we'll start to see a bit more in the way of cloud and heavier rain coming in from the west. Now that's tied in with these slightly more active weather fronts, which will slowly shuffle their way across the UK midweek. A bit of uncertainty as to their eastward progress and quite how quickly it clears away to the east. But it looks as though by the end of Thursday, we'll start to see the next bump of high pressure pushing in from the west. So western air is finer by Thursday. Eastern air is probably more likely to see some cloud and some rain. Plenty going on this week, but it is on the whole a little bit quieter than some recent weeks. Of course, you can keep up to date with the weather where you are by checking out the Met Office website or across our social media channels. Bye for now.